What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another review. This time we're taking a look at Wedding Crashers starring Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson. Let's waste no time. Let's get into it. I love Wedding Crashers. This is one of my all-time favorite comedies. Remember watching this movie in 2005 when it first came out? I loved it then. 16 years later, I still love it now. Wedding Crashers to me is a timeless, is a timeless comedy classic that never gets old. The lines are so quotable. Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson are an outstanding comedic duo. They play these two best friends, John and Jeremy, who are divorce mediators, who also enjoy crashing weddings on their, on, on their spare time. Until they crash this one wedding that's being hosted by a very prominent senator named Senator Cleary, played by Christopher Walken, in which the two friends start to have an attraction to Senator Cleary's two daughters. And that's where the fun really begins. So yeah, Wedding Crashers is a movie of a simple premise, a simple plot, but it's just so damn fun. Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn, like I said, these two are hilarious in this movie, playing the characters of John and Jeremy. I think their, their scenes are hilarious, their lines are quotable, and you can tell that these two are just having a lot of fun doing this movie. And not to discredit a very good supporting cast who are also doing a bang-up job. You got Christopher Walken playing Senator Cleary. I, how, you can't say nothing bad about Christopher Walken. I thought he was really, really funny in this movie. I love the scenes of him and, and Jeremy, since Jeremy is kind of, since Jeremy is kind of entangled with, uh, with Senator Cleary's young daughter, Gloria. You know, the Cleary has such a close eye on Jeremy, and Jeremy thinks that Cleary, <laughs> that the senator is out, is going to be out for him. And they have this ridiculous scene when Jeremy's tied to a bedroom, and they're having this random ass conversation. I think the scenes are uh, totally hilarious. And I also enjoy the scenes of Senator Cleary and John also bonding, since John is into politics and is a fan of uh, and is a fan of Senator Cleary. I like those scenes as well. So I like the relationship that actually that, that Walken's character has between John and Jeremy. They're two different it's two different relationships, but it works for these for two different reasons and I love it. Uh, another thing that I enjoy is the romances that take place in this movie. You know, John uh, John uh, kind of falls head over heels for Senator Cleary's uh, second eldest daughter named Claire, played by Rachel McAdams, and I think, I thought Wilson and McAdams have really good chemistry together. I like, I love their scenes. They, they're, they're adorable. The scenes between John and Claire are adorable, and you can tell that John has feelings for Claire that go beyond just wanting to get in bed with her. Like, he really, he really sees something within her. And, and Claire kind of sees that in John as well. So she's already with a guy named Sack, played by Bradley Cooper. I'll get to Sack in a second. But yeah, I think the romance between John and Claire is great. Uh, the romance that takes place with, with Jeremy and Gloria, played by Esther Fisher, that is utterly hysterical. Pretty much Gloria kind of tricks Jeremy into thinking that she's a virgin, and she just starts acting like a stage one psychopath, borderline nymphomaniac. Pretty much Gloria is like a female version of Jeremy, and at first, Jeremy, Jeremy is taken aback by it, but then he grows to be like, hell, this girl's just like me, man. He, he, they start to fall really head over heels in love with one another. And I love it. I thought Vaughn and Fisher have really good chemistry with one another. Fun stuff. Uh, and now, as I mentioned, we get to Bradley Cooper, who plays the character of Sack. We will always know Bradley Cooper as being the voice of Rocket Raccoon, but for me, my first exposure to Bradley Cooper was Wedding Crashers, as the, in his portrayal at Sack. I thought Bradley Cooper was hysterical in this movie. He plays a low-key, borderline just bully in this movie, and I just thought Bradley Cooper was utterly hysterical as the character of Sack. And what really sold it to me was the touch football scene. Watch it. It's hilarious. And just the other couple of one-liners that he has all throughout this movie, especially when he's talking to his friends. Funny, funny stuff. Uh, so, yeah, like, I like this movie, like, oh, also, cannot forget, this movie features a cameo by Will Farrell, who put the character called Chaz, who pretty much came up with the rules of Wedding Crashers. Now, I am not the world's biggest fan of Will Farrell, but I like Will Farrell in small doses. Like, Will Farrell doing cameo roles, I find him to be much more funnier and more digest di digestible as a comedian, as a lead. He's always been hit and miss for me. This movie, his role is that of a cameo, and I thought he was utterly hysterical as Chaz with the famous, ah, oh, the meatloaf. Classic stuff. Love it. <coughs> yes. I can 
talk about Wedding Crashers for a very, very long time. I love this movie. I didn't even scratch the surface as to what else this movie has. I just gave you just my overall bare-bones thoughts on it. Watch Wedding Crashers. I'm telling you, it still holds up, and you're still going to get a million laughs. So, yeah, obviously, to me, Wedding Crashers is a perfect 10. So, yeah, those are my thoughts on Wedding Crashers. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. Like the video and subscribe, and I'll check you back next time for more.